my name is Danielle Stoddart. I'm crop technician here at Mailer Forest Nurseries since 2020. I've worked here. And so the responsibilities of crop technician are generally to look after the crop and make sure we have something to sell at the end of the season, I suppose. So that includes things like first of all planning, where we're going to sow all of these seeds or plant all of these trees, field operations based on the crop walks that we do every week. So we're looking at basically the weeds, the health of the trees, is there any disease or things like that that we need to monitor and then that opens up a whole another section of work to do in terms of planning based on the back of those crop walks so it's pretty much the gist of it but also I suppose I look after trials that we do as well so that's forest trials or trials that we do here at Mailer looking at new products that we might have in or with maybe other companies that come in and have something that they think might be useful to us. So yeah, quite a broad range of things really. I studied geography at uni and then I did a bit of volunteering while I was there as well. So with places like the, the Birmingham Institute of Forest Research, a bit of volunteering with environmental cleanups, charities, that kind of thing. And so then when I found the application for the graduate scheme here at Mailer, uh, well, the opening for the graduate scheme here at Mela, I uh, applied and was successful. So I think <laughs> we have a lot of students that come to us through uh, different student placements or um, maybe college courses. So it depends if you have the right experience, I suppose, then it doesn't necessarily need to be a degree. But yeah, some kind of background in horticulture or just an interest in growing is yeah useful to us. Seed orchards in general are pretty important to our operation. The Sitka seed that we have here is from improved stock, so that could be from other seed orchards around the country or here from our own. So the somatic embryogenesis process that Sheila does in the lab, the seeds that she gets to start off that process come from the crosses that we do here on the seed orchards. So it's important every year that we get these crosses done so that she has material to work with 